Hello folks, the old deplorable basket case here. So I I just saw this thing. And it it's made me mad. In Melbourne, Australia, a lobby group called the Committee for Melbourne has successfully lobbied to have fully half of all crossing signals in Melbourne and in Victoria at large turned into women. Apparently they don't like having men on their crossing signs. Which, firstly, is very stupid because the image is of a person. There are no features. There are no male features on any crossing sign that I've ever seen. In Australia or anywhere. Oh, oh. You know what the difference is? How they turn these crossing signals into 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 female crossing signals they give them a skirt that's right a skirt there's a great way of uh, moving away from gender stereotypes there incidentally also lots of women wear pants and lots of men leaving aside transvestites for a moment lots of men wear robes tunics kilts i wear a kilt so it's stupid it's stupid on many levels, but the, the level of stupidity that makes me mad is this, is what they chose to spend their time doing. This. Just a short while ago, a female British tourist in Dubai was gang raped. She went to the police and reported that she was gang raped, and the police arrested her for adultery. This is what these people chose to spend their time doing. This. This was the feminist cause that they thought was worthy of their time and money and energy. Not, you know, actually saving the lives of any women or the actual rights of women in the world. And... This is why I keep saying feminism is for shit. Because in many places, in many times, this is feminism. So, if you want to be an activist, if you want to get out there and make the world better, there are plenty of really good causes. There's lots of them. There are countries where horrible things happen every day. There are countries where, for example, women still aren't still don't have the vote. There are countries where women are not legally not allowed to leave their homes unless they're wearing burqas or accompanied by male relatives. Lots of really good good things you could be doing right now out there in the world. So, maybe someday, I pray the day will come soon, crossing signs will be the, the cause of the day. Crossing signs will be the biggest problem that we have to deal with as a society. I pray that day comes soon. It probably won't. Until then, find a cause, a good cause, and work for it. Because there are so many good causes out there that need people working for them. Comment below. Talk about the causes that you, ha that you support. The causes that you feel need to be known. I'll make videos about them. I'll talk about them. I'll push them. Just don't get hung up on crossing signals because these don't matter real people are suffering and even dying that matters thanks for watching please comment below with anything you have to say even if you don't agree with me especially if you don't agree with me I want to know what you have to say thanks for watching I think I said that again Good night. God bless.